Good morning from the National Weather Service here in Pocatello. My name is Carter, and this is your Southeast Idaho weather hazard briefing for Sunday, July 23rd. Got another day of hot temperatures ahead with some stronger thunderstorms possible later today with gusty winds in excess of 50 miles an hour. I'll be breaking that down for you this morning. Key points we're going to focus on today. Hot weather is expected to continue. We'll see highs in the 90s, low triple digits, just like we saw yesterday. With, again, a slight difference, so we'll see some stronger thunderstorms possible later today with the potential for gusty winds in excess of about 50 miles an hour. Heading into next week, we are going to continue to see that increasing fire weather danger as above normal temperatures and dry conditions continue to dry out our lower elevation fuels with a stronger wind pattern arriving for early next week, continuing to add pressure to our fire weather danger. Cooler temperatures do return for next week, so next week will be afternoon highs back in the 80s to mid-90s, so noticeably cooler for next week. Quick look at satellite this morning. Got a Four Corners area, high pressure, continuing to rotate moisture into our area clockwise. And this short wave that's currently lifting out of the Great Basin, working into Wyoming, leading to a pretty good amount of cloud cover out there this morning. It's isolated showers, and generally none of that's reaching the surface as we're pretty dry, but certainly can't rule out some isolated showers, rumble of thunder out there this morning, but overall should be fairly quiet until this afternoon. Water vapor satellite for you. So you got the end of that high four, high four corners, high pressure that's going to be continuing to rotate moisture into our area over the coming days, help to keep those chances of thunderstorms going. Uh, but further west, this system here currently off the coast of Canada, this is beginning to work southeast, helping to increase some of our winds aloft as this works into our area for early next week. Weather of Scott Lee for your next five days. Main concerns today will center around heat with some chances for thunderstorms, especially later in the day. Some of those could be strong with gusty winds. We're taking into Monday. Those chances for thunderstorms do decrease, and we're starting to focus more on wind uh, for us heading into Tuesday as well with some minor impacts, especially up in central Idaho for Tuesday. For Wednesday and Thursday, we're just keeping with wind and some chances for thunderstorms, primarily in the mountains, as we head into the later part of the week. Quick update on the Hayden Fire. It's currently at 3,600 acres, and here's the latest information from the Forest Service. High temperatures today should be overall just where we saw them yesterday. We'll see afternoon highs in the 90s to low triple digits. Looks like coolest area will be up in Island Park at 88 today. Wingos today should be overall fairly breezy, especially across the Arco Mud Lake Desert area, but overall nothing too atypical for your East Idaho standards, about 25 to 35 miles an hour across the board. Storm Prediction Center Day 1 Outlook. So again, just some isolated thunderstorm coverage from the Storm Prediction Center today. But we're taking a look at that probability. Again, best chances will be across southern and eastern portions of the Snake Plain. So as you head further south to Utah and east into Wyoming, especially up towards Montana, U.S. Yellowstone area as well, should be a fairly active day for thunderstorms. And let's take a look at the probability of winds greater than 35 miles an hour. So you can start to see some of these colorations here. That's painting a look at some of the probabilities of where we can see some of those stronger winds. And it's currently outlining a corridor between that Burley to Pocatello area with some reasonable high confidence when we're talking some of those winds could be very strong with some of these thunderstorms later today. And here's even a look at the probability of winds greater than 58 miles an hour on the HREF. So we're still holding on to about a 10% chance in that Burley up through Pocatello corridor later today for some severe thunderstorm gusts possible. And even a 30% down there uh, as you head into the Raft River Mountains and South Hills. Take a quick look at timing for you today. So overall, starting off the day with some isolated coverage. Again, not a lot of this is reaching the ground, but surely can't rule out a shower, rumble of thunder out there this morning. But overall, all that activity should exit to our east into Wyoming later this morning, with we're going to see some sunshine. So plenty of clouds out there this morning, but we are going to see some increasing sunshine, helping to helping generate that instability and seeing some thunderstorms fire off generally about 2 to 4 o'clock. That line of thunderstorms will continue to work east into the I-15 corridor between about 5 to 7 p.m., and that'll continue to work east into the U.S. 20 up towards Yellowstone area area for about eight to nine o'clock for sunset tonight so with those again looking at gusty winds potentially in excess of 40 to 50 miles an hour not looking at a whole lot of rain uh, but a small a small hail and some brief rain is possible with some of these storms overall concerns will center around wind and by sunset tonight we are going to see that coverage decrease just some isolated chances of showers and storms as we head into the overnight hours high temperatures for your monday going to be slightly cooler than what we saw today overall afternoon highs in the upper 80s and 90s and wind gusts on Monday, again, keeping with that breezy wind trend, going to be slightly uptick on the central mountains. But overall gusts about 20 to 40 miles an hour, especially stronger up in central Idaho. Storm Prediction Center, again, we're keeping with that risk of thunderstorms, generally going to be up towards Lemhi, eastern Custer, and then south and east of the Snake Plain, up towards the Montana Divide as well. Probability of thunder, again, best chances will be about 10 to 20 percent as you head further south and east of the Snake Plain, less than a 10 percent chance for everywhere else. We're looking at much more active weather as you head down into Utah and Wyoming. Storm Prediction Center Day 2 fire outlooks. We are going to continue to see some elevated fire weather conditions with a red flag warning out in, in effect from the uh, portions of eastern Oregon and western Idaho from the National Weather Service office in Boise. So we're looking at elevated fire weather concerns, especially as we head into early next week. A lot of those lower elevation fuels continue to be very dry, and we even saw a brush fire start yesterday near the I-84, I-86 interchange. 
High temperatures for your Tuesday. So with the, some breezier winds working in for Tuesday, it is going to help knock down those temperatures just a bit. For afternoon highs returning to near normal levels in the 80s to low 90s. Feeling much better for your Tuesday. Wind gusts on Tuesday, again, going to be strongest up in central and portions of northeast Idaho. Again, wind, widespread wind gusts between about 35 to 50 miles an hour shown in this graphic here. Again, it's going to be lighter as you head further south. So generally, you know, Pocatello, Burley, south to Utah, doing about 20 to 30 miles an hour. Day three outlook. So again, we're keeping with that risk of some isolated thunderstorms, generally south and east of the Snake Plain. And again, fire weather outlook going to sound like a broken record there, but we're going to keep with that increased fire weather danger through the early part of next week with those breezy winds and very dry conditions at the surface. High temperatures on Wednesday going to be just where we were on Tuesday, afternoon highs in the 80s to mid-90s. Wind gusts on Wednesday trending down slightly from what we saw on Tuesday, but still looking at some widespread breezy winds, about 25 to 40 mile an hour gusts. Some of that could be locally higher. High temperatures for your Thursday, again, even fairly consistent for temperatures midweek. Overall afternoon highs again on Thursday in the 80s to low 90s, pushing the mid to upper 90s in portions of the Western Magic and Treasure Valleys. Wind gusts on Thursday, again, keep it with those breezy winds. Let's see gusts about 25 to 40 miles an hour, again, peaking up in central and eastern Idaho. And that's about all I have for you this morning. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to send us an email, give us a call, or check out some information on our website. Have an awesome day.